Susan Bellavo, and I'm a teacher. I teach French Immersion, Social Studies and History, and I also teach post-intensive French to grade nines. My name is Laura Vale, and I am a teacher, an elementary school teacher. I teach grade two. My name is Peter Manson, and I'm a teacher in Fredericton, New Brunswick. A typical day, well, at school, not a lot of days that look exactly like the next one or the one before. There always is a spontaneous element that uh, you kind of work around. My teaching day is really busy. It starts at about 7.30, um, and this year students are coming right in in the morning, so we have students from 7.50 all the way till three o'clock. Generally, when I when I get to school, um, I check the lesson plan, make sure if there's anything that I need. The bell rings, you get the class started, and it, you know you just jump right in. In elementary school, it's a lot of hands-on activity, so helping even with anything from coats to snow pants to boots. Eventually you do sort of pass into the periods and start uh, instruction. It allows you to take, for me at least, the lesson plan that you've made in advance and take it for a spin, if you will, and put it into practice. After school, I stay and plan for the next day. A lot of marking, a lot of going over um, assignments. And eventually towards the end, uh, it's sort of a begin back to the beginning and you sort of socialize and recap and ask how the day went. Well, after high school, I went to Mount Allison University and I did my arts degree in English and French, so I took a double major. And then I went to St. Thomas for my BED and then UNB for my master's, so all New Brunswick universities. During my BED, when I finished my second placement, I got offered a chance to work at a school as a language monitor. While I was at that school, I saw that there were a few positions coming up in the fall, and so I applied before I was finished my BED and I had a job offer the day that I finished. I started out at the University of Moncton for a year learning French, and then I switched to a BED at the University of New Brunswick. And when I got my BED, I was lucky enough to get a job. To get a job as a teacher or educator in New Brunswick for me was fairly straightforward. If you do your Bachelor of Education here, you're almost automatically certified. However, if you're coming from elsewhere, you can quickly seek out a certification and then you can apply to various school boards. I applied to one in the southeast part as well as here in Fredericton and both called back for interviews. Being a good teacher involves seeing the fun in everything. If you have the idea and the lens that what you're doing is fun and who you're doing it for are fun people, then it really helps you. You need to be patient, tolerant, and flexible. Uh, patient in the sense that uh, there will be all sort of spontaneous questions that you can't predict. There's different cultural backgrounds in a class, so sometimes you have to adapt to language levels. There's different uh, ability levels as well, so you have to work around those. You need to be able to separate the behaviors from the student, understanding that they're not all coming from the same home, the same situation, so understanding that. It's hard, but you can't take things personally. It's often said within teaching you have to wear many hats, uh, and I do believe this is true. I chose teaching as a career because I had a teacher when I was growing up um, that made a big difference in my life. I guess the main reason was to, to make a change in the world. When I'm teaching, I'm teaching students how to be good citizens. I always knew that I wanted to work with kids. Growing up, I worked at a summer camp for seven years, and then as soon as I was done working at a summer camp, I started my BED. I think the idea idea of uh, instilling or sort of uh, triggering someone's passion or someone's interest or taking a simple interest and making it a passion uh, really can uh, advance them in their sort of growth as a person and definitely uh, as a student. My favorite part of my job is when I see a student's mindset switch from I can't do this to I can do this and it's sort of like a little flash in their eyes when they realize that maybe they can't do it yet but they're on the right path and that is the hook that gets me out of bed every morning. The most satisfaction is the little reminders that what you're doing uh, is paying off and that is valued and appreciated by youth. Sometimes you cross former students and they'll remember anecdotes or things that happen in class or funny stories that have long been forgotten for me, but for them, that really stayed with them. Being a teacher on graduation day is, is the best feeling in the world, right? As you watch those students come across that stage, you think, I'm, I'm a part of that, and what I've taught them is going to help them. 
I think that people should be teachers and think about being a teacher in New Brunswick because it's a really rewarding profession, having that community feeling around you. So I work in the school in the community, but I'm really supported by the whole community, which is such a nice, cozy New Brunswick feeling. I would encourage people to work in New Brunswick as educators, uh, mainly because it is a smaller province with a smaller population. However, that allows for excellent networking. Regarding the province itself, there's so many advantages. One would be as a teacher, financially, you can live very comfortable. The cost of living in New Brunswick is reasonable. I also find uh, it's located wonderfully on a map. You can go into other maritime provinces. Quebec and the United States are just next door. Working in New Brunswick is, is awesome. You can live in the country if you want and work in a small rural school like I did in Minto. Or you can uh, move to the city and be close to everything that you would want. There's trails that you can hike and bike in the summertime. There's just so much to do and as a teacher, you know, you're work, work, working hard all year and when it comes summertime and it's time to relax, um, there is no better place to be than in New Brunswick.